啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome to Two Point Hospital, a very special episode of Two Point Hospital because there's been a new update, and it is the interior designer. You can see it here in the bottom corner. I have it installed, and I want to show you guys what you can do with this thing. Um, uh, well, I mean, it can. It, it says here it allows us to create pictures, rugs, walls, and floors for our hospital, so we can now custom the design and look of our hospitals and we can download other people's from the workshop and we can upload our own to the workshop in addition to that we have the um, sandbox hospitals uh, you can now um, upload your sandbox hospitals to the steam workshop as well so you could create um, scenarios for people to play and upload them uh, to the workshop you could play a hospital and if it was uh, struggling or you're really pleased with how fantastic it is you can upload it and let other people uh, play the hospital or try and save the hospital or just give them challenging scenarios which I think could be really great for us to do here if you um, peeps uh, created some difficult challenging hospitals uh, for me to to try don't make them impossible <laughs> but you could make them pretty challenging and and I could uh, see about playing some of your hospitals on this channel I think that'd be really great but for now let's jump in uh, to the game and start using the interior designer let's see how how we can fiddle with this here we are in Swellbard, which is the hospital I'm currently working on in um, my YouTube series. Um, now, I'm a bit worried we might actually get this start while I'm <laughs> while I'm recording this. That would be annoying. Um, so, um, how do we start using the interior designer? Um, we'll be taken home by start. Fair enough. So, well, let's look at wallpapers and flooring. So we can see here that we now have a customize button on rooms. Um, so if we click on here, uh, we can see that we've got walls and flooring. And the game does come with some, we can see here, these um, uh, are pre-installed. So you'll have some to play with instantly that you can buy here for some kudosh. And you've also got the option to stick everything back uh, to default. Um, and then you can see here I've actually downloaded some from the Steam Workshop. So we can visit the Steam Workshop at any time and, and see about, you know, downloading bits and bobs uh, that other people have made. But first of all, shall we look at making our own stuff? How do we make our own wallpapers? Well, we have a Steam Workshop button up here. So if we click on here, we get this beautiful UI that's extremely easy to use. Making this stuff is so easy, it's amazing. So um, we're going to make a wallpaper here. We can open up our browser on our computer um, And so I've been making a Blara pack for the workshop, which is there right now to download We'll have a look at it in a bit um, But let's Let's use these to, to demonstrate how to um, make your own things So these images here I created in Photoshop personally, but you can create them in in paint whatever use any program you like to make the images and then um, you can just use them to to create whatever really it's so easy so we're going to create a wallpaper here and I'm going to use Zeek 4 and that's what we're going to use for our example it currently accepts uh, JPEGs and PNGs it may accept other file types in the future not sure but right now that is all that it does so we're going to open that and we get a nice little preview um, I've noticed that the icon image um, can be it's not always exactly right to what ends up going out particularly with pictures um, so don't uh, follow this too closely uh, as an example of what the finished product will look like because it's not necessarily the case so here we are now look we can rotate the image if we want look at that we can rotate the image uh, we can also edit so we could crop the image right down um, we don't want to do that or or say for a painting you could select a different area that you want it to show from a larger picture uh, as as your painting so that's that's pretty cool um, I was impressed with that uh, nice and easy to use but we're just going to use the whole image here um, and then we're going to uh, name it um, so we'll just call this um, uh, 
stripes for now here we go so I name it and then you need to uh, you don't have to give it an item description you can see here I'm now free to create um, but if you if you are creating items that you're going to upload to the workshop do put a description in and and, and why not try and make it a little law friendly put something amusing you know or, or silly in there it could be fun for us to read it um, and then you can uh, set your your kudosh for how much you want uh, people to uh, buy the wallpaper for and then you just hit create so with this created we should now find it I found that it normally goes to the bottom here and you can see here wall edit uh, edit wall definition that we could do or we can just unlock it so we set it for to, for 10 kudos so that's what we're gonna do yes and then look look at this there it is it's in there oh and now what I've noticed is that different rooms have different 3d uh, textures for the wall and this one has a, a skirting and a coving so I've picked a wallpaper that I designed that that covers uh, these things um, which is great um, and then, but you can see over here, for example, in the GP's office, we've also got this dado. Um, and so we could put our um, wallpaper in here, but can you see this? And I'm sure that's fine for, for many peeps, but for me, I find it a little bit annoying. Oh, and this is a great button here. So we can apply this to all rooms of this type. So if we press that, you see, they, they match. So what we can do, I'm ignoring the hospital. Let's not worry about it. <laughs> Let's not worry, but should we, should we slow it down maybe? No, we won't. It's, it's too painful to watch. So what we could do is um, create different wallpapers to take these different textures into account. Um, like the toilet, for example, doesn't have, um, uh oh, earthquake, doesn't have these bits and bobs. So you could just make something that's up and down with, with no skirting or coving features at all. Um, but it's nice. Uh, doing it so like we've got this feline one if we unlock this so this is one that comes with the game and we customize uh, this room where's it there so I don't know I think it's quite nice to put in wallpapers that enjoy those uh, 3d uh, textures and my um, interior design pack the blala collection which i have made special for the launch um does have five different versions of each wallpaper so that you can uh get a, a wallpaper for the right type of wall that you're using i went mental i i literally went mental um so that's fantastic or you can go to the steam workshop and download other people's so um look at this look at this here we've got this art deco one which i might um should we put this? Oh, let's put this in the bathroom. I'm going to unlock this one. Look at that! And look, they've even made it so that it matches the colour of the bathroom. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that amazing? Um, I think uh, a Sega tester made this. I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah. We can uh, we can find out in a minute because we'll go and have a look at the, uh, the Steam Workshop. I also really liked this from the Steam Workshop as well. Look at it. Look at that. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, so really really cool and then you can do the same with floors of course, so we've got um, So we can see here we've got some that actually come with the game um, And that I've also downloaded some uh, let's unlock this and uh, oh, Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. Look! Look! How snazzy is that? Completely customized bathroom. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it amazing? And it's exactly the same. If you wanted to create a new floor, again, we can just grab this and um, shall we do one of these repeating uh, tiles that I have here? Create that, and now I can just say, "Hey, I'd like my new tile instead." There it is. There it is. See how easy that is to put your own things in the game isn't that amazing so what do we do if we want to browse the workshop and have a look at things well so we can hit this little button here and we can go we can browse the steam workshop from this button here and if you have your overlays working it should pop up um, for you to take a look so here we are in the uh, steam workshop 
which is amazing and there are already some items kicking about and we can say hey we would like um, some floors look and at the moment these are the floors available not too many <laughs> uh, because it's not launched yet um, but it will be by the time you see this video um, or you can say hey I'm looking for some rugs you know try and find some rugs look uh, two point prem there has made uh, a pug rug from the picture that we know and love from the game and we can see here that geekism uh, Jonty of geekism has made a rug um, in fact he's also made some uh, really lovely um, pictures uh, here look some law friendly pictures which is fantastic um, and Craig made this on a two point stream recently so um, you can what, what should we should we download something what should we what should we download um, shall we download a picture um, let's see here shall we let's download look Joe from two point has made a picture of Chris <laughs> so let's Shall, shall we get this? Let's let's get this. So we're going to subscribe to this. Excellent. And then if we close this down. Okay. There it is. So with the game running, we now have it. So we can go into items. And I like to use the filters. And I think now with uh, custom stuff filters is probably going to be something we should all be using um, so we can see here look stuff from the workshop and um, including all of my bits and bobs from my bundle and look here it is <laughs> here it is just says Chris Chris <laughs> it's just Chris <laughs> so we can unlock this for 20 kudosh and just uh, put that <laughs> in our training room Oh, isn't that amazing? I think it's pretty amazing. Look, we could use uh, Jonty's um, motivational poster. <laughs> Have you tried not being ill? <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> That's a fantastic poster. That doesn't. That can't go in research. That that needs to be in the lobby. It's good advice. There we go. <laughs> so. Um, it's, it's really easy to download stuff from the workshop as well. Likewise, if we wanted to upload something uh, to the workshop, it's also extremely easy. So say um, our tile here um, that we created, you can just publish it. Um, it's, it's as simple as that. Um, and you can put in your title, a description. And once you've actually, oh, oh and you can even say hey i'd like a different cover you can make your own custom cover art and and upload that as well and and decide whether you want it hidden or for friends only all this sort of stuff and you can edit it once uh, once it's already on the shop add more pictures whatever you want really it's 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 really easy to use and um great fun as well um so what about creating items and pictures like this how do we go about doing that well it is just as we were doing earlier hitting items and we have another workshop item uh, right here and you can select whether you want pictures or rugs and you can see from pictures you have various options and again um, with the rugs you've got your various options available to you um, so let's create a picture shall we let's create um, a canvas and one of my favorites was this um, one of mine that I created for the canvas um, we're going to again you can adjust all this but we're just going to make it pretty cheap we shall call this Zeke there we go uh, create this and then in our user here it is unlock that now we can place it in the hospital I mean how easy is that how easy is that that's crazy easy right surely it's crazy easy and if you just want to publish it there it is and then everybody can can play and use it <gasps> well I mean it's pretty awesome right so I guess that just leaves me to show off my bundle. I went nuts uh, making a bundle for the Steam Workshop. I, I hope to make more bundles in the future, but for now I just wanted to make a Blala themed one. Um, so 
uh, let's have a look at uh, the the steam workshop shall we let's go there and we can click here bundles and this is mine here, the Blala Collection, painstakingly handmade by the Two Point County Queen herself, Blala. YouTuber, streamer, llama lover, add to your collection today for more colour in your life. Subscribe and favourite for extra free cool points. So this is my collection. Um, so I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up, favourite it and subscribe so that you can download all the things that are in this collection. I think it's got something like 56 items in it. I went crazy. I went crazy, everybody. And uh, leave comments and, and tell me what you think about it. Um, I, I, I'm really excited for people to actually start getting this and, and, and playing with it. I put a lot of work into it. Uh, I might also, as you can see here, you can add to your uh, uh, collection of... Um, so Pete, it's nice to have a collection if you create a collection of all the things that you've downloaded for your game so other people can see all the packs and items that you're using something I should probably do so you can see all the custom bits that I'm using and if you guys make custom items and you can join the uh, my discord and we can start sharing things I have a little two point county section in my discord there is a, a link for my discord in the description below and we can start sharing all of our bits and bobs with each other I think that'd be great and then I can get your carpets and wallpapers and images in my game I'd love that that'd be awesome um yeah that that would be great um but obviously i'm not going to subscribe to this because i already have it all in my game <laughs> i already have it all in my game <laughs> so why would i do that but look Nurse, look at all these bits and bobs that um that it poop happens place this near toilet doors uh, that should say a kind reminder for pontians to use a cubicle and not your hospital floor clearly i need to um uh, just uh, look over this for errors uh, so i may need to update my pack <laughs> as well um but yeah look and, and and i've made it so that uh, look you can actually um spell i was going to do it but i don't want to unlock them blala across your hospital wall if you wanted to you've got all the letters there to do it um I've also created loads of uh, rugs um, as well. Uh, yeah, look, there's a big Blala rug. It it displays funny here, but it does just say Blala along it, um, nice and big. Shall we? Shall we unlock it? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Amazing. I'm so pleased. Enough said. I I'm pretty pleased with that. <laughs> so, please. Do subscribe to my pack, download, enjoy all the weird and wonderful things that I've stuck in this pack. I've written some weird, some weird descriptions. I um, mean, even if you don't use them, it's it's worth a read over. I swear. And there is the interior designer for Two Point Hospital. You can jump in and start creating all these lovely things for your game and uh, download other people's amazing things for your game. If you do want extra help uh, on how to use the tools and also how to create bundles of your own um, which can be a little bit fiddly but is very easy when you know how in settings under game they have created um, a workshop and here uh, they are creating all the details and you've got also creating and publishing uh, bundles uh, which is is worth having a look at definitely worth reading through this for additional information uh, should you want to find out more or, or just struggling with something this is will be how you find out for sure and that's it thank you so much for watching and we will be back very soon with uh, my normal two point hospital uh, series where we'll be carrying on with the bigfoot dlc <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, if you did please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via Patreon. The cooler you are, the harder I work, which means even more shizwa.